I can believe that the officer thinks he is policing in an unbiased way and that he only frisks people who pose a danger. But by looking at a cross section of his work, we can see that he perceives black and brown people as more of a danger than the white people he interacts with. This New Hampshire public defender represented a black woman driver in a case that went to the state Supreme Court. She felt violated by the officer putting his hands all over her to frisk her. I mean, she had a good reason to feel that she was being treated in this way because of his perceptions of her and not based on what she had done or the risk she posed. An ACLU organizer also testified Monday about how police can improve relationships with the transgender community. The questions that you don't want to ask, which are, are you a guy or a girl? Are you a bit or, you know, Beckett remembers a New Hampshire case not long after she started at the ACLU about a transgender woman who was sexually assaulted, but the report identified her as a man. They were terrified to consider, you know, trying to pursue justice here. A couple of police chiefs inquired about gender sensitivity training for their departments. People of color uh, have this tension when they see uh, law enforcement, and so we're trying to figure out how do we how do we proactively reduce that tension? These meetings are ongoing. The commission's final report is due at the end of the month. The meetings are open to the public. They're via video. They have subtitles. Public participation and testimony is encouraged. Reporting live, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.